and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time we had found Dustal, um, but he's apparently mad at Karth for not being there for him while he was a child, since Karth was always off to war, and he doesn't want to come with us. Uh huh. Um, what? So we're trying to find something to convince him that the Sith are evil. Let's talk to this guy. I remember you. You're all right. Trying for the academy, I see. So are you, obviously. That's true. I had no idea you were coming for the academy when I met you in the colony, though. Colony? I don't... I remember the name, but I don't remember him. Who are you? The name's Shardan. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. Uh, do you want to coordinate strategy? I don't work or play well with others. Thanks for the offer, though. Okay. I don't remember you. I really don't. Garth, who is this person? Johanny, do you have anything? Colony. On this world? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. I really think the best thing for me to do... Are these more barracks? Do you just have lots and lots of barracks with people? No. There's people hanging out here. Students, more students, more students. Teacher. Targia? Hello? Tong Abogsha Umino? Wanga Kumbis King Balemura. You don't speak English. Um, what can you tell me about the valley? Tag this to Punko Cookie Bag Panka. Sing Palachiska Mule to Narana, no Prata, don't go to Kumjus Tak Miki, Grabble Mogo, Kachichu Ita Bodunga, Jan Shak Bulara, Umrao Chiska Duchi, Chuban Jiska, Yang Jedabadawana Nidibobo, Tong Nabungsha Nunya. Um, how do I get into the valley? Tong Hai Twam Chichi Jum Lumpa Nita Pue Tiki Tolpa Da Bongwale Gandu Nangu Chut Chut Kavadu Um, so the valley hosts several ruins basically What are, what are the Tuaka beasts that he's warning me to be aware of? Manaman Atota Hakijukrata Bula Shui Chungatong so they attack people. Who are you? So he's a student designed to study the ruins. But why do you speak Twi'lek? So he's not very, he understands basic, but he's not good at speaking it. Um, so he speaks Twi'lek because that's just one uh, language that he's comfortable with because he was raised on a planet in the Outer Rim. Okay, I'm done. Interesting. The teacher... Alright, well we don't want to go into the valley right now. At least I know it's down here. Might as well talk to you and recite the code. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. I have something to tell you about you. There are, um... I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie that is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. No, victory. No, no, Damn that it. is incorrect. Ah, uh, let me do it again. Then finish the peace. Passion. Through passion. Strength. Through st power. Through power, I gain. Now it's victory. Through victory? My chains are broken. The force shall free me. Yes, good. 
You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. True. False. Oh. Unless victory proves your superiority, it is an illusion. It is temporary. Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. Oh, let me uh, be on my way. Indeed. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained. Then finish the code. Okay, he's gonna make me do it again. I'll just cut stuff out till I get it right. Through pack. Okay. Through strip. Game power. Through, game through victory. Chains are broken. The four. Yeah. Tell me. False. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. That's it. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. All right, I'll be on my way. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. You're just going to ask me one question about the code and say, Oh, you, you got it. That seems a little silly. What's this? Oh, back to where we came. Which is technically where we want to go. I want to get mission, but I also want to know what is over here. I'm curious. Interrogation room. And the dueling room. Okay. I imagine I have to duel the other students, maybe? Something like that? Anyway. I would like to leave, assuming that I can. Okay. We, uh, we went back to the entrance, huh? and we got mission in our party. Open the door, mission. Gotcha. Simple. Thank you. Open the footlocker. Data pad. Bed. <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not take a nap. Gotcha. Simple. It You unlocked it, but it didn't open. Mission. Why didn't it open? Why is the room spinning? Okay, let's... Hmm? That data pad, just take a look at it. I wonder if Dustal knows his friend was disposed of like that. If not, it might convince Dustal that what we're saying about the Sith is true. It'd be worth a shot. Yeah, that's why it didn't open, because it needed Karth's dialogue. And that would be why the room was spinning. Okay. And as he asked, we will take a look at the data pad. If I can find it through my massive collection of things. Oh, geez, so many data pads. You think they would name it something else? Um, what? Oh, that's me and Bastila trying, um, hunters looking for us. Um,. That appeared to Kane's numerous entries of notes by the Master Uthar of the Sith Academy. Most prominent of the recent entries is the following. The pupil known as Dustal has shown remarkable progress. His talent with the Force is great. The same, however, cannot be said for the human female that he arrived with, Selene. She has little talent. Moreover, Dustal holds a great degree of affection for her. This is a weakness in the boy um, and has been slowing down his training. Orders were sent this morning to have the girl removed from the academy and terminated. I will tell Dustal she was killed in the valley. He will forget her soon enough, I think. He's too promising to lose at this juncture. So they killed his friend. Um. So yeah, and I don't remember which road he was down. Ugh. Here you are, Dustal. Back already? So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Celine? Celine? She's the one who convinced me to come to the Academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but he told me he... He said that she'd been lost on a mission in the valley. This... 
This says that they killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I, I had no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now, will you leave here? I... No. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information. From the inside. Something that might help you. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not gonna do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. Hmm. Yes, it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over, we can... talk. I'm still not sure about... us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Well, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. Yay! Ha. Where are you going? Items lost. Yeah, I lost a data pad. That's fine. Are you leaving? Okay, whatever. Karth! Yes, what's on your mind? Do you think you'll see- there he goes. <laughs> you think you'll see Dustal again? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I- I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate, I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I- I hope so. I- I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for all your help. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the Evan Hawk. Um, but in the initial conversation with Dustal, um, if you, you know, he tells you to, to get out and leave him alone, I'm going the wrong way. Um, if you choose the wrong dialogue options with Dustal, you will have to fight him and kill him. And at that point, any kind of relationship you have with Karth, whether you're a female um, character or a male character, that's pretty much the end of it. Um, Karth's son is dead and he's just done. Um, you know, I mean, he'll still hang out with you, but he's just, you can't really progress in dialogue with him at all. He's just focused on killing Saul, and that's it. Um, and that's a mistake that I made the first time I ever played this game. I picked the wrong dialogue options with Dustal, and I had to kill him, and it sucked. So, I just thought I would point that out, that you can absolutely, you know, destroy that. Alright, let's go talk to Karth. I can see if Candorous has anything else to say first. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, nope. Your choice. Okay. That's the engine. I want to go up. Me. I think you can get into the master's room at the end, after you've done everything on Korriban, I think you can get in there um, and still convince Dustal. But I wanted to do it the fast way, so. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, I already asked you all these questions. To think that I once looked up to these two as the best that humanity had to offer. Now I'd like nothing more than to put a blaster to both their heads. Although I suppose that only Malik is left, isn't he? Turned on his own master. Not, not that Revan didn't have it coming. Typical for their kind, I guess. Yeah, so I asked him about Revan and Malik. I thought he'd just repeat stuff that I already said, but he's not. Um. Do you know why they turned to the dark side? Nobody does. When they left after the Mandalorian Wars ended, they were Jedi. When they returned, they were something else. Um, what do you know about the dark side? I, uh. I used to think that it was a fancy name for something that I see every day. Corruption is everywhere. People are greedy and stupid and do horrible things. I'm starting to think it's different for the Jedi, however. That there's this evil watching them, waiting for its chance. You have so much courage and strength in you, yet somehow I have no trouble imagining it differently, like the flip side of a coin. It's not just you. It's Bastila as well. She's so intense. And I don't pretend to know much about the Force, but 
I know evil. You think Basila and I are evil? No, of course not. All I'm saying is that when you have so much power, the stakes are higher. I can only imagine the kind of conflict that goes on inside you. Well, neither you nor Bastila are fully trained on how to handle your power. I'm just concerned at what might come. <laughs> that's sweet of you to care. Oh, and that's not what I... I mean, I've, I wouldn't want to see you hurt, either of you. I suppose finding the star maps is more important than your training and your safety. I, I just hope there isn't a price for you to pay. Hmm. See if he has anything else to say. Yes, what's on your mind? You seem like you're far away. Is something wrong? Oh, it's it's nothing, sorry. It doesn't seem like nothing. And, you know, you telling me to go away doesn't really work. No, I told you my wife died four years ago. I, I, I've just been trying to remember what she looked like. It shouldn't be so difficult. I, I can remember things about her, things she did, the way she smiled, what her hair smelled like. <laughs> Our last fight, just not her face. I try and hold it in my head, but it, it, it's gone. It, I know, is that strange? Maybe I shouldn't be talking to you about this. That is a little weird that you don't remember what she looked like. But I guess you remember the important things? But I should be able to remember her face. It's it's frustrating. I, I feel like I'm losing her. I, uh, it must look really strange for me to be obsessing like this still. You, you must think I'm incredibly stupid. No, I doubt your wife would want you to do this to yourself, though. Well, I, I suppose you're probably right, but I have to do it anyway. The only thing that's kept me going since she died has been the need to find Saul and kill him. It's better to think about that than anything else. If I can do that, then maybe I can let her go. Let it all go. If we encounter Saul, if we ever have the, the chance, promise me that I'll be the one to kill him. I, I have to settle this. I need to. If we get the opportunity, then sure. Thank you. I, uh, I guess there's really nothing else to say. Anything else? Yes, what's on your mind? Nope. You got it. Okay. Well, we are going back to Manon, then. Jolie wants to talk. What is up, Jolie? You got something on your mind, dude? Um, you never actually did say why you wanted to come with me. No, I never did, did I? Are you always going to be this elusive? Elusive? Me elusive? <laughs> Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Andorin Willick juice. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashyyyk. Time to go. Time to move on. Move on to where? To bed. I'm old and tired, you know. No, really. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I'd bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And then there's all the critters in the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? But you could do that on your own. You don't need me. So I could. Well, not having a ship does tend to put a damper on that kind of idea, however. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. You know what my destiny is? Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? I can see that you have a destiny before you, but the details are far from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. But... Ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. Uh, no, I'm actually, I'm interested, what... Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel-gazing at it doesn't get you anywhere. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. 
<laughs> and that can't be all bad. Who's Nomi? Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. So, you're along as some kind of observer? Nonsense. Have I ever refused to help you when you asked? How confused can one person be anyway? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, uh, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Alrighty, I am out of time, but I will see you next time, where we continue things on Manan. Thanks for watching.